Hi Swing Dancers, I'm going to show you some mobility exercises for your calf muscles. So as Swing Dancers, uh, we are on the tips of our toes, bouncing around, triple stepping, rock stepping, jumping, landing quite a bit. And so these suckers can get pretty tight and some of you might complain of a strain, a tightness, a cramp, um, even like a pulling action. And so I'm going to show you just some things that you can do at home. You're going to need a foam roller um, I, or some type of device to to cause the massaging. Um, I'll show you other ways as well in another video how to do it with things around the house. Now, <laughs> I'm sitting here for a reason. Uh, first of all is that this position right here allows me to stretch out my calves. So I, I'm, a, I'm in my living room. I have the couch behind me. I have a TV in front of me behind the camera. But I can be doing a lot of different things. I could be on my phone. I could be reading a book. I could be watching TV. So this is just like a little option that I do maybe if I'm a bit stiff or sore. I'm about to go dancing later uh, this evening, so I'll do something like this throughout the day. I might do it before I leave the house, but these are things that I recommend you do when on the weekend, during the day, uh, in the middle of your workday if you work from home, times that you're not about to dance, times that are away from dancing. So here's what I'm going to show you to do is using a foam roller. Okay, So the calf muscle or the calf muscles are back here. Now, you might be comfortable or you know to do this for your calf or foam roller, but the problem might be that you say, you know, I foam roll my calf a lot, but I don't, I feel like I always have to do it. Or I feel like it doesn't actually help me too much or it's a temporary thing. Now, the calf muscle is huge. It's pretty long. It goes from just below your knee all the way down to your heel. So it's also not just in the back. When I do this, it kind of splays out to the sides. So you have this typical forward and back foam roll massaging, but then you also have to turn back and forth because the muscle runs up and down. You're trying to massage the muscle crosswise. So besides doing up and down, I actually would recommend that you do left and right, twist it a bit, find little knots, kind of get that to mush out. And you can also turn a little bit onto your right side you can roll it back and forth. That gets the outside of the calf muscle. Move it further up. So you search for places. And your body's not always going to tell you, hey, you have to do it right here. Okay. You might have a tightness further up on the calf, lower right where my sock ends, and maybe very low in the, to the tendon. So these are things that you have to search for yourself. Pain travels. So the tightness, the, the pain that the tightness sends isn't always corresponding with the exact location. So you have to actually do a little bit of work yourself to find out, like for me right now, that's a little bit tight down there, right? So I might work there. I can go up and down. I can turn in and out, right and left. Then I can go on the inside and do the same thing, right on top of the thick muscle belly, the medial gastroc, that's what it's called. And I can do this. Now, if you notice I'm against, if you notice I'm against the uh, couch, that way I don't have to hold myself up. The more your body or the other body parts are relaxed, the more this is going to give. I could do this if I have nothing behind me or to rest against, but I recommend that you do something, find a place, like it could be a wall. I recommend the couch because it's simple. On your off day, you could have, you know, you have kids, you play with your kids, you have a dog, you play with your dog, or you could just be here relaxing. But you're going to find the spots. This is very common, and people do the right thing, but they're not addressing the right spot. And that's why you can have this chronic or this tightness that just doesn't go away. And sometimes you're like, oh, that's a really, really good spot. That's a perfect spot. But it's not the only spot. Sometimes that spot is really tight because another spot is holding it down below or above it. So let your body move around, turn in around, in or out. Um, also, if you notice, my foot is a little bit tight there. So my body naturally tenses up. So I'm flexing my toes. You can kind of see them like my shoe. I'm flexing up a bit, and that's my body fighting against it. So I want to kind of think about it and relax it. Oh, there we go. Even I made that mistake, and it happens all the time, even to myself. So I'll do that. I'm tensing up already again, so I have to remind myself to calm down. So that's actually a spot I didn't know I had, right? But if I did this, I don't feel anything there. Left and right. Go on the outside. Roll forward and back. I can twist left and right. Remember, the muscle here goes vertical so you actually want to massage it left and right and vertical diagonal and if i want to kind of get a different angle i can actually bend my knee a bit 
and do this. And I can still twist, or I can bend it further here, or I can be completely straight and do this, okay? And either I can move my leg to do it, or I can move my body, use my arms, although I'm tensing up a bit, and that's okay, depends, right? So play with different angles, twist in and out, find the inside, find the different muscle bellies or muscle areas. It's not just one location, maybe higher up. Oh, and it can vary from day to day. And notice how I'm already tensing up as well. So we found out just even doing this video for you all that I have to calm down when I get to that spot and I have to think about it. And that's totally fine. You have to remind yourself sometimes. I can go lower down into the tendon. There we go. That's okay. A little tense. And those are signals I can tell without even touching people. People ask me all the time, hey, how do you treat people virtually? Well, they're little signs and signals your body gives me that I can tell, hey, that's something that it needs a lot of work. So if I go up right there, I'm tensed up. I have to think about it and calm down. Okay. So that's uh, some tips about how to um, loosen your calf muscle using a foam roller. I would obviously do the same thing with the other side and check that. I typically have a little bit less stiffness on my left side, but, um, but give it a try. Let me know how it goes.